peace to you and you and you and you, everybody. Did you decide to watch this video? Are you sure you did? Prove it to me. In fact, prove it to yourself. Hang on, prove it to yourself? That's actually a strange sentence. Who is you proving to? Who is this yourself? Who is this you? You see, we believe we are individuals that choose what to do, that choose our thoughts. But actually, if we really look deeper into our experience, we find that we have never chosen a thought consciously, as it is said. You may be thinking, that's stupid. Of course I choose my thoughts. Let's take a look now. First of all, understand that the statement, I do choose my thoughts, has come as an afterthought, after the thought has happened. But within your experience, you did not experience a collection of thoughts ready to be fired into the mind. Bicycle, mum, dad, pets, politics, school, that time when I was five and I rode my bike. Watch a video. Hmm, I'm going to choose watch a video. Then you select watch a video, and then pow, within your mind, the thought, watch a video, and then you choose to watch a video. This is just make-believe. There is no evidence or experience of that within you, is there? Be sincere and look within your experience. As I always say, it's important to look within your experience to find truth. So this process never happened. All that did happen was, boom, I feel to watch a video. And then boom, it disappears just as quick. So this eye that has this ability to choose thoughts is non-existent. If you're not sure about this, rewind what I just said about the choosing. We don't experience choosing a thought before the thought arises within our mind. We just don't experience it. We say I out of habit. We say I because it's said all around our world. We read it in books. But it's all one big I. not individual eyes. We are all one big eye that actually is not called eye, but of course to communicate from one person to another person, we have to use words. Because the true answer is actually silence. What is aware of the silence? No thoughts, no mind, no feelings are aware of silence. But you are aware when you stay silent.
can that one, can that fade away? Can that disappear, that knowing, that awareness? Can it get sick? Is it a black awareness? Is it a white awareness? Is it Indian? Is it Muslim? Is it a male awareness? Is it a female awareness? It's neither, is it? None of those things. It's just this knowing. It feels like complete peace. That's what you really are. That's your natural eye. Know that you are much more than an individual that says I. You are that which observes the whole universe. Wow. Peace. Peace and love to you. If you enjoyed the content in this video and would like to dig deeper into your spiritual knowledge, why not check out my new book titled A Journey Back to Self, 101 Meditations and Quotes for Awakening Your Buddha Nature. We all have a Buddha nature because we all are that. There is no separation. Available right now on Amazon.com. Peace, family.